Hello everybody and welcome to Big Elephant Plans. This is Lisa and today I'm going to be sharing with you my monthly layout for both my A5 planner and my 7x9. Now I use my A5 planner mostly as a reference planner. It's where I do the bulk of my work um, as far as planning out my week with the schedule and things that are need to be done around the house and um, things like that. This one is a, um, a me planner, so it's got the um, categories down the side and then I use that to kind of categorize the different things I've got going on throughout the week. Um, so this one is the one that I use to plan what is going to happen in my 7x9. And then my 7x9 planner I use um, for work and scheduling out um, everything else that needs to get done. And this one is a vertical columns layout. I did leave it blank and then I have a daily Franken planned into it. Um, but that daily does not start until December. So we're going to get started planning out the month first in the A5. Um, this is a plum paper planner. I really like plum paper. It's what I've been using for the last four years. I use the monthly highlights page to kind of plan ahead. I keep my sticky notes in there and I write the dates on them and then I can just scribble whatever's got going on. And when things get canceled, I can just mark them off. And then as I get to the month, I can work on the monthly spread and make it nice and neat and pretty. So I'm just gonna start by taking these off and uh, get started with the stickers. I'm gonna speed you through this part so you don't have to watch it all. Um, it's, it's pretty fast and easy and I'll explain everything that I've done at the end. Now this is the monthly kit that I'm going to be using. I'm using this for both planners. It's a printable from KM Stickers on Etsy. That's her shop right there and I'll link to it down in the bottom. Um, but I really like uh, her printables. They're really easy. I did make some changes on my computer so that um, I'm not printing a whole lot of pages. but. Um, and then I went ahead and typed some things in and got things set up and ready for me. Um, so this isn't really what the printables are going to look like when you print them out, but, um, but this is uh, her design. So let's get started. So for my A5 planner, I kept it really simple. I um, didn't put a whole lot uh, in here. I did add things on the notes page as well. Um, so I have a little bit more room. And then I went ahead and typed in the different goals that I have set up for this month. And I kept my goals the same in both planners, so you're gonna see that. And then I'm reworking my AM and PM routines uh, now that school is back in session. So um, I left room for that in the highlights so I can refer back to that and, um, and just make sure I get everything situated before I really add that in. I've got projects, I've got uh, space for things for school, and uh, room for birthdays because we do have a lot of birthdays this month. And for the monthly spread, I'm going to use the same kit that I used uh, for the monthly highlights. Um, so it's going to have all the same matching colors and things. This is my first time doing a monthly spread, so I'm, I'm not really, um, I don't really know where I'm going to put everything. Um, I usually just write everything in. I don't really do uh, stickers on the monthly, but we're going to try it out and see how it works. So for some reason I have a hard time lining up top washi exactly right, so I tried a couple of different times uh, before I got it in the right spot, and I still wasn't very happy with it. It seems a bit too big for the space in the planner, and I don't know if if that's a design issue or, or just my personal thoughts on it, because like I said, I've never done a monthly. Um, I did decide to... Um, change the monthly start to be a Monday start so I'm gonna have a, a bit of a tr a bit of trouble laying down some of the number stickers and getting everything exactly where I want it um, because for some reason I just I can't seem to remember where uh, dates go when I do it that way um, 
I also wanted had wanted to use the back to school sticker right there in the top and it just wasn't working out for me. In the end I still ended up covering up some of the word with the with Monday and I had to cut off some of the bottom of the sticker to make it fit the way that I wanted it to. Um, but in the end it looks cute. It doesn't bother me that much. Um, so you know it is what it is. I had a bit of trouble laying down the numbers too. I just can't seem to get them straight. I'm, I'm left-handed, but I'm using the tweezers with my right hand because that seemed more um, natural to me. I am uh, right-handed when it comes to cutting and certain sports. So um, so I don't know if I'm, I'm just not holding them right. If you have any good ideas, uh, let me know down in the comments. Um, but I just can't seem to get the square numbers on correctly. I felt like if I had round numbers um, that even if they weren't straight they wouldn't look that odd um, but I do like the square that I have an exact uh, point in the in the corner to put them in um, so I'm not really sure what the preference is going to be here um, but uh, you know if you have a preference let me don't let me know down in the comments um, and I'll keep an eye out for uh, kits that use those stickers Now my son goes to Tiger Rock. Uh, it's a martial arts program on Mondays and Wednesdays, but I keep having to go back and check my calendar because on uh, Monday, Labor Day, there is no Tiger Rock. So I wanted to make sure that I got um, the right schedule because he's, uh, he's taking the class on Tuesday instead of Monday. And then I'm so used to putting them on those certain days in the calendar that I accidentally put uh, his Wednesday on a Thursday, but I did get that fixed. And so um, I'm just going to keep filling in with all the different things that we have scheduled for the month. Um, and I add in uh, some doctor's appointments and uh, dogs go to the vet. And then, uh, and then I've also left room for bill pay. Um, we do have four dogs. Three of them are going to the vet uh, this month for their regular yearly kind of stuff. And um, that's going to be a lot of fun having three of them there. So this is the setup for my A5 monthly. I've got the highlights finished on this page um, with all the things I need and then the monthly layout done. Um, again, this is the KM Stickers kit. Uh, I think it's called Back to School. It's her September monthly. And next, we're going to do uh, the same layouts in my 7x9 planner. Uh, so this one, I do have a couple of different things that I'm going to be doing in this one, but it's going to be the same kit um, for both the monthly highlights and the monthly layout. So I'm just going to speed through this real fast and get it all set up. I did decide to add the flags uh, to this one so I could kind of decide which way I like it better and um, and kind of experiment a little bit. So uh, so you'll see the flags are in this one, but I do not have flags in the other one. And then I wanted to um, do something a little bit different with my goals in this planner. So um, my goals are number based. I want to do 22, I want to do 16, I want to do 20. So I'm uh, color matching the different circles on the uh, goals and um, and making little hexagons that I will fill in or check mark off or something um, as I uh, work towards that goal. So you'll see um, I'm just making the hexagons here on the bottom side of the notes page. And that is it for the monthly highlights in my 7x9. Um, it does look just a little bit different than the 5 by uh, than the A5. Um, but I really like the way both of them turned out. Um, you know, I use the planners for a little bit different in both of them. So I wanted to have them just a little bit different. And I'll probably do them a lot more different in the future. But let's get started with the monthly layout in the 7x9. 
So this time I started with the weekday headers instead of the um, washi headers at the top. And I thought that might work out a little bit better, but I really think in the end it didn't. Um, you know, I didn't really have anything to line up the weekly headers to, so they ended up a little bit wonky. But, um, you know, it's still a learning process. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing a monthly layout because usually I just scribble on them. Um, but I'm trying to make my planner just a little bit neater. Um, so when I open it, I'm just, I feel a little bit more relaxed and a little less overwhelmed when it's neater. Um, so I really enjoy doing the weekly layouts and I thought I, I could definitely do a monthly layout this time. Um, I, I, I had one sticker falling off, so I went ahead and placed that one. Um, but then somewhere I skipped a date. Uh, I think it's right here. I skipped a date. And, um, and then I had to go back, there it is. I had to go back and, uh, pick all the stickers up and redo them. I'm using, uh, Avery, uh, removable sticker paper. And I will link to that in the comments because if you're doing, uh, printable stickers and you want to just go with something simple and easy, uh, these Avery stickers really are removable. I think I picked some of them up three or four different times and I was still able to lay them down without any problems. Um, they didn't curl or anything like that. Um, and they print really easy. So I will link to that down in the comments. All right, so that is my monthly layout in the seven by nine planner. I did do it a little bit differently than the than in the five by seven. In the five by seven, I also included the uh, boxes on the side where I didn't do it in the seven by nine. I keep calling it a five by seven. It's an A5. Um, so they do look just a little bit different, but that is the setup in both of them. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please give me a thumbs up or click that subscribe button down below and we'll see you next time.